Now let's take some of the examples and try to solve uh, for the NFA. It means we will learn how to build the NFA for the different examples. So let's say this is the language L1, which says that W, where W is element of A, B star, it means the input alphabet set is A and B only. And uh, the length of W is equals to 2. So what will be the language in this case? It will contain A, 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 B, B, A or B, B. So you can see that this is the finite set. So it will have four elements. So how will you construct the NFA for this? You just think of the accepting the strings. So you are at the initial state. If you get symbol A or B, you should move to the state B. And then if you are getting another symbol, either A or B, you should move to the final state C. So any of the two length string will be accepted by this. Okay. But if we are not sure that any three length string or one length string or four length string will be rejected. So we are only thinking about how will the acceptance be there. We are not concerned about how the rejections will be there. So this is the very simple example. Let's take another example of uh, the NFA. So W, where W is element of AB star and W contains A. So W contains A means it can contain A at any place. Okay, so it may contain A in the beginning, it may contain A in the end, or it may contain uh, A is somewhere in between. So what will be the language for this? Let's say A. So the smallest string is A that should be acceptable. And then AB is also acceptable. BA is also acceptable. AA is also acceptable. And then BAB is also acceptable. So it's an infinite language. So my language or my string should contain A. It may contain A at any place, either at the starting or at the end or somewhere in between. So this A is the start state. The smallest string that should be accepted is A. So that's why I'm making this automata. And the B should be the final state in this case. Now in the starting, I may get A or B. So I'm not concerned about that. In the end also, I may get A or B. I'm not concerned about that. So I'm only concerned about one A that comes either at the beginning or the end or somewhere in the between. So this is the NFA for L2 language. So it's a very simple one. You can see that we can define the NFA. We can draw the NFA very easily. So now let's take another example. So this says that uh, you have to draw the NFA for the input alphabet set A, B star and W starts with A, B. So W starts with AB. It means what are the strings that can be accepted by this? This can be AB, simply. It can be ABA, or it can be ABAA, or it can be ABAB, and so on and so forth. So I'm only concerned about the AB symbols in the starting. Okay, so let's draw the NFA for this, a simple one. So the smallest string that is going to be accepted is AB. So I should first form the NFA for the AB only. C should be the final state in this case. So after getting AB, either you get A or you get B. You, I don't mind. Okay, so I am getting an AB in the beginning and the after getting AB, whatever symbol comes, that's not a matter of our concern. So this is the NFA for the language L3. Now let's say I'm drawing an NFA for W that is element of AB star. It means the input alphabet set is AB and W contains AB. So if I have to draw this uh, NFA for this, then AB can appear at any place. It may appear in between it may appear somewhere in between or it may appear at the end. So the smallest string that should be accepted is A, B. Let's say A, B comes in between. So A, A, B and then A and then it can 
will be there in the end also, something like this, and so on and so forth. So now, if I have uh, the smallest string AB, I should first draw the NFA for the smallest string. So this is the automata for the smallest string. Sorry, I, I think that it's a slight mistake. I'll just talk. Okay, so A is the start state. And then if I get A, I should move to state number B. If I get a B, I should move to state number C. So this is the smallest string and C should be the final state. Now, if A and B comes at the beginning, so that I should remain at the AB state. If I get AB in the end, I should also remain at the final state. So this is the smallest automata. Uh, so this is the NFA for the given language alpha. So here also we are concerned only about the acceptance and not the rejections. So I'll make uh, this diagram once again so that you can understand this NFA once again. So I'll first form it for the smallest automata. So sorry, smallest string. So smallest string is AB. So with A symbol, I'm moving to B. With B symbol, I'm moving to C. And C should be my final state. And then since I'm uh, drawing the NFA for the string that contains AB. So it's string in the string, it can be in the beginning. So if it is in the beginning, so after getting AB, you may get A or B symbol. So I am not concerned about that. It may also happen that my AB is appearing in the end for that case also. In the initially in the initial symbols, I can get A, a or B. So I'm not concerned about that. So this is the NFA for the given language. So I hope you must have understood that how to construct the NFA for the given strings. We'll meet again in the next lectures uh, with the so with some more examples related to the NFA. Thanks for watching.